name's Wendell Lewis, fight out of Team Titan, North London, 27 years of age. My name's Jason the Animal Coolidge, I fight out of Ipswich, Shockwave Gym, best gym around. 3-0 now, 3 wins, no losses. So naturally the people gunning for my winning streak, so I've had to step everything up. I don't intend on losing at all. I'm 3-0, Wendell 3-0, set up for a big, big fight. We both please the crowds, so it's going to be a smasher. So don't blink, because it might end quick. Jason, I know you're 3-0 as well. Guess somebody's always got a goal tonight, man. Wendell. Last time you said your cardio was awesome, well my cardio is 10 times better, so if it even gets out of the first round, you're going to be feeling it. A lot more than I will. Two unbeaten guys, both three and zero. Both great prospects. Jason Coolidge, we see coming in now. Also, the interesting thing with Jason Coolidge, a very good semi-pro career, got a lot of wins by submission, and made a good transition to the pros. Obviously, still unbeaten. This is a phenomenal bout between two real prospects. Do you know what's phenomenal about it as well? I mean, when you're both unbeaten at three and zero. And both these guys obviously have got the chance to, 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 to go 4-0 and, and bring the other one down to 3-1. Out of any opponent there is out there, these two have got to be the hardest and toughest guys that are matched up together. What a way to lose that winning record. I mean, wow. Anyone else you could think, my record's going to keep on winning. But this is one of them bouts where you think, who the hell is going to take the win? And there he is. Looking pretty serious as he shakes. Takes himself off. Wendell Lewis. If I could sum Wendell Lewis up in one word, I would say athlete. The guy is a pure athlete, and he's shown here at UCMMA that he can finish fights. Explosive striker, fantastic wrestling. There we see him with the members of Team Titan, obviously. Ashley Grimshaw and Brad Pickett there, two really experienced guys in this corner. Well, Ben, I had the pleasure of training down at the Titan gym just the other week. I was there training Mark Potter, and this guy was alongside training with his training partners, such as Brad Pickett and Ashley Grimshaw, and he looked on fire. I mean, wow. I mean, just in the gym, this man looks as if he can take on the world. So when he's here in the cage, I'm sure he is going to show us that he can do that. When the Lewis is a very calm and cerebral fire, we've seen him on the way in. But when he steps in that cage and they close the door, it's like a switch is hit. And that guy goes from 0 to 100 miles an hour in pure intensity. No time at all. Wendell Lewis, a really exciting prospect. But once again, take nothing away from Jason Coolidge. And as you said, Ian, this is why it's great that these two fighters are meeting at this point in the career. I mean, Jason Coolidge, he has the physique of, of Baby Fido. I don't know if you remember Baby Fido from, from Russia. The same type of physique, the same type of stance. And then you've got Wendell Lewis, the man who has a physique just like me. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Chiseled out of granite. Ladies and And gentlemen, our next contest is in the Ultimate Challenge Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an undefeated mixed martial artist with a record of three wins, no losses. He weighed in at 77.1 kilograms. He stands five feet nine inches tall. Fighting out of Shockwave Gym. Jason Coolidge! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is also an undefeated mixed martial artist with a record of three wins, no losses. He weighed in at 76.7 kilograms. He stands five feet 11 inches tall. Fighting out of Team Titan, 
Wendell Lewis. And when the action begins, the referee in charge is Danielle Curzon. Right. Listen to me. Do you both understand the Normally what you were say about guys who have an unbeaten record it's the man who dominates first this is the man who's going to shine through but you know what it is i think these two guys change that sort of you know technicality of it because i've seen both these guys on the receiving end of punches and then come back and win so i don't think it's the man who's going to dominate i think it's the man who has the heart the willpower and obviously the skill out here at ultimate challenge fighters are you ready are you ready? Fight! So we're on. Touch gloves, both guys. Tentative. Straight into it. Nice, Lewis with a strong heavy punches right. by Wendell. Oh, and a Huge beautiful knee. jumping knee. Wow, that was very, very close. Coolidge needs to be careful jumping in again for a single. And that's what we said. There's that explosive oh, athleticism. Look at the eye. Look at the eye is cut. That looks like a bad cut. It looks like it's above the eye as well from our vantage point. I points. think that was from the knee, Ben. You can see the blood running down. That is a very, Jason very Coolidge. bad cut. Jason Coolidge now grabbing the single. Wendell Lewis doing really, really well to defend. Jason Coolidge really got a sense of urgency about the situation now. Maybe he feels that that cut's really bad and this is going to play into his head quite a lot. It'll be interesting to see if the referee has a closer look at this. It's hard to see with this, the fires in the takedown position as they are at the moment. Well, his head is slightly buried there, Ben, so I don't know if the referee can actually see the cut from that side. It's hard to see from this angle. Coolidge looking for that single leg, doesn't get it. Lewis doing a good defensive job, gets the underhook in, tries to bring his man upright. Coolidge working and working for that single leg. Coolidge is doing well with a single, but the problem is, is his head is too high. He needs to drop down a little bit more just to take the leverage away from Wendell. But Wendell doing really well, nice defence. And the thing is, he can relax from here. He shouldn't be really forcing anything. He should be letting Coolidge do all the work. Let Coolidge tire himself out. Coolidge, good short knees to the fire of Lewis, trying to soften that leg up. Force Lewis to defend it. Now cross face, but I think it was a bit slippy with the blood there. Lewis again pushing for that underhook. But relentless is Jason Coolidge trying for that leg. He's grabbing the single, but he's not quite, not e exactly getting it right for the takedown. I think that's the key word there, Ian, relentless. And Coolidge, like we said, maybe he fears that if there is a break, the referee will have a look at that cut and maybe call the doctors in. There does seem to be a lot of blood outside the cage there. And I think you're right, Ian. I think it was from that flying knee initially. From the position above us, the cut seems to be underneath, but it's not quite clear. You can see it's quite a nasty cut. Well, and the referee rightly stops it for the medics to have a look. But I think you're right, it's below the eye, it's not above the eye. And Coolidge just singling to his, uh, his cornerman that he's fine, I'm okay. That is a bad cut, but like you say, Pavan, it's not obscuring the vision. Referee Andy Sledge is having a bit of a quick word with the cuts, cutsman there. That's right, you're not actually allowed to treat the cut. Until not mid-round. But this will spur on Wendell Lewis, I'm sure. That's right, he'll know he's hurt his man, possibly look to capitalise. And from his point of view, that cuts almost like a bullseye. You know he's going to be he's looking going to, to fire aim more for it. shots right, ben. straight into it. And you can see Lewis loading that hand, loading that right. And swelling going with it on the left-hand side of his face there. So often we see with cuts around the eye area, a bad bit of swelling. And we've got to, you've got to be careful that that doesn't inhibit his view when, when you see the hooks coming in. Wendell Lewis, we know, has explosive punches. And the thing is, MMA is also not just a physical game, it's a mental game. At the moment, Coolidge has tried to go for the takedown. Lewis has defended well, and Coolidge has already cut. So who now is on the positive thinking? Who's on the negative thinking? And I guarantee that Wendell Lewis is thinking really positive, and Coolidge is thinking, what do I have to do to get this man on his back? Oh, nice combination with a kick there by Lewis. And from Coolidge's point of view, Ian, he's not going to want to shoot from the outside without setting his punches up because he's got a reminder on his face throughout the entire fight of what happened when he doesn't set his takedowns up exactly. properly. Lewis at the moment controlling the centre of the cage, nice, nice low kick. Nice jab from Coolidge there and as you say Rob answered there with a nice low kick. Lewis looking incredibly calm, shaking the arms a little bit. 
Taking the center and moving forward a little bit. Coolidge very tentative with that cut. And as you rightly pointed out, Ian, you know it's going to be a mental thing. It's obviously playing on his mind. Well, when it looks as if he's got the longer reach to Coolidge and the, the counter to a southpaw attack is a straight right hand. And I think, look, there we go. Lewis needs to throw that right hand. Look at how fast he got back to his feet. The man has got springs on them legs. But slowly but surely, Wendell Lewis picking his man apart. Jason Coolidge needs to get a takedown if he wants to win this round because he's way behind on points right now. Wendell again with a good combination. Oh, Big and there's that knee. knee. This time it hit the stomach of Coolidge. That came out of nowhere. That is, we said at the start, you sum up in one word, athletes. That was some explosive athleticism there. Spring in that flying knee. And Coolidge did well not to suffer the brunt of that one. Well, Coolidge is now thinking to himself, I I've got to be careful every time I shoot because that's twice I've done a shot and twice I've been need. The third time could be unlucky. It's just yet another way that a fighter can dictate the, the pace and what his opponent does. Lewis finding a good home for that knee. Really found the range early. Now he's stalking his man. There was 10 seconds to go. Cooley fires a couple of shots at the end of the round, but that eye is going to need treatment. Well, a definite round, definite round for Wendell Lewis. I mean, he, 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 he stopped the takedown. And here we See the replay coming forward. There's a nice one two that opened the fight up, and that's what what really made us think. And there's that knee, beautiful, timed it with the takedown, and straight away we saw the blood come through. And this is what we saw from Coolidge, a relentless takedown assault. But Lewis did the right thing and was able to hold his balance almost throughout that that attack. Do you know what? Watching that replay, I think it could have been the right cross that opened that opened up that cut, because the right cross from the very first punch he threw landed exactly where that cut is. Then obviously he threw a knee, and then knees again the time. What does Coolidge have to do to take this man to the floor? And I think it's gonna to have to be more than a double leg takedown. Here we go, round two. And Ian, what do you think we can expect from each corner? Well, I think Lewis is just playing the right game. He's keeping on the outside. He's waiting for Coolidge to shoot, and he's still on the knee. Coolidge seems ready? to be shooting just a little bit. The more, the more times he's getting hit, the more he's making chances and mistakes, and he's shooting from the outside. If you shoot from the outside like that against a man who's super, super fast like Wendell Lewis, you're going to get caught. But I think Wendell Lewis is quite happy to just stay on the outside, use that reach. Nice kick. Well, Coolidge complaining that's three times now. But at the end of the day, it's up to the referee to notice these things and it's up to the referee to say whether it was a low blow or not. A fighter can complain as much as he wants. But to me, complaining like that, that is a sign of a man who was already beaten. That is a man who was mentally beaten. Oh, nice head kick. Not a lot missing on that head kick from Lewis, changing the attack up. I like the way he's done that. Seems like he almost pulled that though, gentlemen, as he threw it. Beautiful work by Lewis on that head kick. Coolidge needs to be very, very careful. Oh, a starch wow, shot. Wow, that was a stiff straight hand right on the nose. Just as I said it, beautiful shot lands. Lewis starting to pick his man apart now, finding accuracy with those shots. That was counter-punching 101 from Wendell Lewis. And what I like about Lewis, he's not rushing anything. He's taking his time. Well, the cornermen actually shouting, you know, it's, it, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't a low blow or a high kick, as we should say, between the groin. But, you know, to me, I think mentally, mentally, Jason Coolidge is already beaten. And he's not going to like me for saying that, but I'm, I, I'm never, ever biased in a fight, ever. I just say what I see, and what I see and what I think is that this man just doesn't know how to handle Wendell Lewis, and he's getting frustrated. And a real lull on the action here. It seems like Lewis may be looking to load up for that one big shot, trying to counter strike, leap in in an explosive fashion like that. 
And like you say, Jason Coolidge seems somewhat aggrieved with the, the situation and what's actually gone on, but it's up to him to do something about it and change the situation. That's exactly right, Ben. It's not going to complain to the referee. You've got to do something about it. For me, I, I think I'd like to see Lewis start to double up on those shots, start throwing punches in bunches. You know, he's landing that single shot. I'd like to see him really go to work with a combination. I think the reason he's not is he, he could be a little bit tentative on the takedown attempt that uh, Coolidge is going to do. You know, he's quite happy with the one shot that maybe sprawl if he shoots in. You go in with a combination, then he might, he might just be taken to the floor and that could change the whole game plan. And from Wendell's point of view, being the fact that we've seen him with knockout power, he will have confidence in that one shot, so he will think that he can throw that one shot and finish the fight at any point. Coolidge again looking for the takedown, went for the single leg, didn't quite get it. The problem with Coolidge, he's doing exactly the same thing from round one into round two here. You know, I mean, if it's not working the first time, it definitely doesn't work the second time. Why do it the third time? Well, for me, I think Coolidge needs to distract his opponent. He needs to throw something at Wendell so that he can aim for that takedown. And exactly as I said, that, right, Rob. Lewis exactly with a right. big shot. Yeah, we need to see more of that from Coolidge. If he wants that takedown, he's got, he's got to put a distraction in there. At the moment, shot for shot, Lewis is winning. And like you say, you might want to see Lewis throwing some more punches, but at the end of the day, a win is a win. And like we said from the beginning, these are both men who haven't been beaten yet. So if he is quite happy to throw shots, pick his man apart, mentally demoralise him like he's doing now, then great, that's what's happening. Lovely defence there by Lewis. The sidestep away from the cage, I mean, that, that is something you don't just pick up overnight. And do we see it as a case of that with Lewis coming in with that kick again? Lewis may be fighting not to lose rather than to win, so to speak. That's exactly right, Ben. I think you, you've hit the nail on the head there. Coolidge doing a good job of cutting off the cage, but not really doing a lot with it. Coolidge flinching from that feint. It's, it's clear, excuse me, he's tasted the power, and there's a nice reaping left hook from Wendell Lewis. Same punch he knocked out Emil Smith with back in December. Coolidge again looking for that shot. Coolidge closing his eyes and bending from the back instead of bending from the knees. After the knees we've seen in the first round, that could be a very, very dangerous technique mm -hmm. to throw. Oh, There's and there we go again. with the jumping knee again. You wonder, Lewis, we've seen he's, he's still got the power and still in the condition to throw these amazing strikes, these incredible bursts of energy that he's throwing. And he is, like you say, shot for shot, he is winning this one. But there isn't really a sense of urgency as we see the 10 seconds from either man at this point. Well, I mean, when you're clearly winning two rounds like this, uh, again, 10 seconds is way too late to go for a takedown now. I mean, 10 seconds, uh, you know, you get a man taken to the floor, that is when you're kind of both equal in the round and you win the round by the takedown. But clearly, clearly, Wendell Lewis won that whole round from beginning to end. And here we have the replay. There was that big straight right hand, right crunching on the nose. And like I said, the way to counter a left-hander is just throw that straight right down the middle. Here we see Lewis, there's that explosive flying knee, and that's, he's shown the fact that he can do that all through. And did you see Lewis look down at the floor there first? He looked down at, well, looked down at the legs, sorry, he looked down at the legs of Coolidge as if he was going to go down and shoot and then jumped up high. This is something this man has been practicing for a while and it's paying off. Let's be honest though, gentlemen, it's been quite a cautious round from both guys. Well, <laughs> With me being in there against a man, you know, who, who had the same record as me, you know, I wouldn't want to lose, and I'm sure Coolidge doesn't want to lose, but the way to win is demoralise your opponent, which I think when Lewis is doing. Why take chances? He's won, he's now... Two rounds up. Why take a chance in the third round? Why take a chance and throw a bunch, bunches of, 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 of right hands and left hooks and then get tucked to the floor, you know, and possibly get submitted when he gets down there? It's not as if it's a boring fight. The man is still active and it's still exciting. But he's been very careful about it. We see the fight on the front leg of Coolidge there. Incredibly marked up from that leg kick. Obviously, that's going to take a lot of him. And the inside of the back leg as well. Oh, oh there's oh, a huge oh, knee again. again. Coolidge weathers a stone, but on Webberly legs. And Lewis has got to feel that he's really hurt his man with that. And if he does want to finish, now's the time he wants to be pressing forward. 
Coolidge appeared to leave the cage side there, almost still wobbly, as Wendell lands a good combination to the body. The frustration of Coolidge now, what must be going through his head? He has tried everything to get Wendell Lewis to the floor. And with an unbeaten fighter as well, somebody who's gone through his opponents 3-0, it's really hard. It must be incredibly demoralizing for him to come up against somebody who seems to have all the answers for him in Wendell Lewis. And the thing is, the fight hasn't gone to the floor yet. It'll be even more demoralizing if it goes to the floor and Lewis gets straight back to his feet. Good defense again from Lewis. Well, Coolidge looked to shoot. Coolidge shooting way on the outside. But you rightly so, Rob, you said he needs to distract Lewis. He needs to throw some punches before he comes in and tries for the takedown. At the minute, he's not. He might be throwing a, a jab, but it's not enough to put Lewis off his game. And let's be honest here, and this is the third round under these lights in that temperature. Both guys' body heat, they're both very slippery at this point as well, which makes the takedown even harder. A lot harder, a lot harder. And, and if anyone hasn't fought 15 minutes before, wow, it, 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 15 minutes, three rounds of five. Some people, you know, they... they you know, five minutes, you know, so what? Let, you have a rest in between, but I'll tell you what, if you haven't done it, try it. Try it. It's like, it's like a marathon ten times over. Lewis just throwing a few feints, trying to make his man think. Throwing that straight right, but nothing really behind it. And like you said, Rob, I mean, the single shot approach is what Wendell Lewis is going for. Maybe looking at counter-strike. But credit to Coolidge, he's taking a lot of big shots and he keeps coming forward. Obviously he understands that he's behind and he needs to put some punches together and try and set a takedown up if he can get his man on the ground, if that's the strategy. But Wendell Lewis has just simply had all the answers. Well, if I was in the corner of Coolidge going out to that uh, end of the second round, I'd be seeing him, look, you're down two rounds easily. You need to do something different in the third round. Take a chance. Take a chance. Don't, don't just try and take him down the exact same team down. Throw, throw a lot of punches, get in there, close the gap and try, try something different. Because if you don't try something different, it's just going to go to the, the judges' scorecard and easily Wendell Lewis is going to win this. But from Wendell Lewis's point of view, I mean, that spinning back fist just misses. From Lewis's point of view, as I was saying there, an explosive athlete who's won his fights quickly, this will be a very good test for him to go the full 15 minutes. And he seems to be coming through the cardio test with flying colours. He hasn't shown any of the signs of a fighter in, in dire straits in terms of conditioning. His hands aren't really low and his movements haven't slowed down. He's, he's the same as what he was in round one, to be honest. But, I mean, you said at the start, Ian, you saw you had the pleasure of seeing him train, and he did look like a, a fantastically conditioned athlete. Much so, but that's not my, me, me being biased throughout this fight. If, if, if the shoe was on the other foot and Kulu just beating up Wendell Lewis, I would be saying that. You know, I'd be saying he's mentally de demoralising Lewis, but he's not. The thing is, Lewis has done his homework. He knows exactly what Coolidge is going to do. He's done his training, he's done his cardio, and the hand movement of this guy is just super fast. Now Coolidge is moving forward. This is what he should have done earlier on in the round. But he needs to do it very, very careful because Wendell Lewis does have power in those hands. With only a minute left, Coolidge has really got to make something happen. He's got to know he's down on the cards. And I think that this is his last hurrah with him coming forward and throwing those strikes. He realises that it's, it's do or die right about now. That's right. Trying to get Lewis to come in. Trying to sit in the pocket with Lewis. Trying to force it a little bit. But you know what? I think this will make Coolidge a better fighter because he hasn't been beaten. You know, if 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 it does go the round, you know, and, and it goes to the judges' scorecards, I'm sure I'm sure the judges will score it for Lewis. So this will make him watch this fight, look at where he went wrong, and I'm sure he will work on it, learn on it, and come back with another win. So often we see it with fighters, and a lot of them say they do learn an awful lot more from losses. And there's a nice shot from Lewis. And once again, I like how quick he's disengaged every time. Well, we're down to the closing seconds now. 15 seconds to go, and this is the third and final round. Will desperation come back to Coolidge? And will Lewis just step back and take the win? 10 Lewis. seconds. Lewis backing off. Coolidge lands some strikes to finish, but Lewis just backing off. needs to be careful. Off. You run after the man like that, and you take a punch on the way in, it could be over. Well disappointed and frustrated is Jason Coolidge. We're taking nothing away from him. I mean, he has fought another man who was unbeaten, another man who has got such a fantastic stand-up game. And he's the first man to go the distance to Wendell Lewis. I've always said to my guys when they fight, you look at a fight, 
that is going to last 15 minutes. Anything less than that is a bonus. So never be disappointed if it goes to 15 minutes as long as you've got the win at the end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we have a decision. Judge number one scores this bout, 29-28. Judge number two scores this bout, 30-27. Judge number three scores this bout 30 27 for your winner. Fighting out of the blue corner, Wendell! Lewis! And your runner up is Jason Cooley. Interview, interview, I'd love to know what he thinks. No. First of all, congratulations on a really good win, good performance. Um, I'm a big fan. You fight at my way. I absolutely love watching you fight. Uh, first of all, how are you feeling? Uh, to be honest, I'm not feeling that well tonight, guys. I'm so sorry for letting the fight go to a uh, decision. Typically, you know me as a uh, kind of aggressive, come forward. But um, I, had to, I had to fight smart tonight. Plus, Jay, I can't take it away from him. Jason's really tough. I caught him with an overhand right and he was the guy in nowhere. I was like, whoo, shit, I better move around instead, you know? But um, yeah, all credit to him, he did really well. I mean, I was thinking that myself, really, really tough guy, and he was in, he came to fight, um, and I wanted to see some more aggression. I think you had him in trouble in the fight at least two times, possibly three, and you know, we, we wanted to see a finish off. I know, I know, I, I, and again, I apologize to the crowd, those that came to support me from work, family, everything, but um, you know what? You know what, MMA is not just about knockouts. MMA is not just about finishes. It's about technique and using your brain. So hopefully, you know, hopefully that made up for it tonight. Well, regardless, it was a very classy performance. Absolutely so well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Wendell Lewis! And you can catch Wendell Lewis on the new iPhone app at only 59 pence every week and app a knockout coming to your phone. And later on, remember, Mark the Shark Potter versus Ollie Thompson. But up next, a featherweight fight. This is David Myfield versus Jamie O'Keefe.